Welcome chicks and dudes, my name is Shade the Walking Walkthrough here with a review for Ninja Gaiden 3. Yesterday, an unknown group launched a terrorist attack in London. The story behind Ninja Gaiden 3 is that there's a terrorist group that's actually looking for Ryu Hayabusa. So Ryu teams up with a government agency to try and help take them down. So, how does it feel to suffer as all of your victims? In traditional stories, there's always that super bad guy. Well, there's always another! <laughs> as in all the Ninja Gardens, there are plenty of enemies for you to kill and some wild bosses for you to fight. I've been waiting for you, hero. Who are you? Let's dispense with the introductions and get straight to the killing. This Ninja Gaiden features a new slide mechanic and a new blood and bone system, which allows you to kill multiple enemies super fast, as long as they're normal enemies. The game is extremely linear, there's not a whole lot of exploring to do. Plus, they took out the level up system. Now, in this Ninja Gaiden, there's only one Ninpo spell, which is very disappointing. However, every time you use it, it does fill your health up, depending on how many enemies there are on the screen. The old save point system has been replaced with Falcons. They added a bunch of button prompts and a lot of climbing and scaling mechanics. Plus there are running scenes to make the game feel more expansive. That's not enough to keep the player interested. Overall, the game feels very useful. They took out the level up system, there are no extra weapons, however, you do find new swords which give you new attacks. I give this a 5. You're not human. Out of 10. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and please, feel free to leave some comments.